AWS Config is a fully managed service tool that allows you to see the configuration of your whole AWS infrastructure. Let's see how AWS Config works. Configuration changes occur in the AWS resources. AWS Config also tracks the configuration changes that was not initiated by API. AWS Config examines the resource configuration periodically and generates configuration items for configuration that has been changed. Evaluations are displayed on the dashboard accessed through the config APIs and optionally sent via SNS. AWS Config stores everything inside the S3 bucket so you can actually go into your S3 environment. In this lab, we are going to create a config and then we are going to create a default S3 bucket with an existing role. We're going to add an SSH rule and then we're going to observe the compliant and the non compliant status change. Now, let's search AWS config from the search bar and click on there. And here we have got our different settings. So what is it that we want to record? And remember that config is basically a way of recording your AWS environment. If you want to know what security groups were, what the rules were on your security groups two weeks ago, you can use config to find that out. So I'm going to record all the resources. I'm not going to do a specific resource and I'm going to include a global resource such as I am, etc. I'm going to create a bucket where this is going to be saved. I'm going to use the default bucket name. So I'm just adding SC at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Next thing I'm going to do is to add my config rules. So let's type in SSH and this checks whether the security groups that are in use disallows the unrestricted incoming SSH. Now I'm just simply going to click on next button. I'm going to hit review and I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. So this is now setting up config. Config is now going to monitor the entire AWS environment. It's going to put the configurations into S3 and then changes will be made to that environment that will go into S3. Now this will take a little bit of time, so leave it here for some time and then come back. Now I can see my resource compilance. So I can see that I have got one non-compilance tree and besides then I have got five non-compilant resources. I can see all of my resources over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go in and I want to see what it's non-compilant. So I've got restricted SSS as my rule. And I can see here I've got five security groups where SSH is a non-compilant status. So what I can do is I can go in and go to manage resources. And I can go and change these rules. So I'm quickly just going to go over here to inbound rules. And I'm just going to actually delete my SSH rule. And I'm going back to config and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the other rules. I have re-evaluated two of my resources and you can see only three resources are left to non-compiled. I'll go back to my dashboard. I now have three resources compiled and my config rule is compiled as well. If we go and check our compilance resources, we can see the resources that we just updated. Now you can go in and take a look of the resources in here. If we change the resources type to, let's go over to EC2 and just look at our instances type for example. Go ahead and hit lookup. Now, the good thing about this is that you're actually going into your security groups. And what we can do here is we can actually see the timeline. So let's have a look. So here you can see it. There's a timeline here. We can actually see the configuration as the points in time. We can see the change. It was created or AWS config was set up on the 17th of March. And then we made a change on the 2nd April. So we are able to see in a very detailed timeline all the different changes to our configuration rule. And this completes our lab.
If your auditor need to understand what your environment looked like two weeks ago and what service are they going to use, well, AWS Config is the best service to look at.